Welcome back to the channel guys. Quick repair video today. This is in response to a question I had in a prior video. What to do if you break your connector off for your motor connection on a Tiny Hawk board and the pins are gone. I'm going to show you what to do. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for hanging around guys. Let's go ahead and just jump right into this. In case you don't realize, these three pads right here, these are auxiliary motor pads where you can direct solder a motor to in case something like this happens and you rip your connector off and the pins are gone too. So what we're going to do is we're just going to simply direct solder a motor straight onto this. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first thing you want to do is go ahead and just put a little bit of flux on these auxiliary motor pads. Alright, next you just want to tin them up. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you go ahead and take your motor and we're going to go ahead and depin this to try to save as much wire as possible. You're just going to get up underneath the tab, pull the wire out. Okay, now that you have the connector off and the pins are depend from the connector. We're just going to cut off just at the connector and go ahead and strip them back. Okay, as you can see, I've got the, I've got the motor wires stripped back and I have them tinned already. The next thing is to simply solder it straight to the board. Okay, you're just going to solder these up one at a time. Well, there you go. That's about your only option when it comes to repairing one of these boards is, is simply direct solder your motor onto it. And it actually makes a better connection. As a matter of fact, I'd recommend going ahead and doing all four motors if you want to get a little bit more efficiency out of it. That's the repair video today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up. Talk to you in the next one.